Let me recognize the RDA board and management, but also the partner, developer, under this public-private partnership model that people laughed at when we talked about it. Maybe they can laugh again with the progress that we are making. Absence of conceptualization of issues is a problem in life. Inability to understand things is even a greater problem, which leads people to raise issues where they should seek more information and clarifications, they begin to raise unnecessary issues. It's a discussion for another day. Let me acknowledge the business community. Let me acknowledge farmers, colleagues, who are feeding us, even in difficult times of drought like this, which we're experiencing this year. Let me acknowledge the population in Central Province, Kapiri, where we are here, along the line, Kawe, Chibombo, back into the Copper Belt, for your presence and for following the proceedings today. Media is important all the time, ladies and gentlemen. They carry the messages that we deliver to the people. And through them, wider, the wider audience gets to know what's going on on a day like this one. I acknowledge the speakers that have spoken already, graciously acknowledge all the messages that you have delivered. I will try and put context to some of your messages very briefly, but you've done a good job. You've spoken well and succinctly. But before I get there, let me express my profound delight to be here in Kapirimposhi today. As the area MP mentioned, a number of young people are not aware that I lived in this town. I lived in Kapirimposhi. Yes, I lived here in the 80s. As a young person, as a university student, I used to work every holiday at Kapiri Grass Products there. Every holiday. So, I can claim to be a resident of Kapiri, and it's nice to be back. So, Avena Kapiri, you have produced the head of state. You have produced the head of state. What this fellow is today, you partially shaped him. And I must tell you that I used to work in the factory. I used to work on the factory floor. Most of you young people don't, work, don't want to do jobs like that. It starts there, at the bottom. That's where I started. Here I am today. You should be proud that Kapiri has produced the head of state, I repeat. So you could be the next one. But Mule Womba. Mule Womba. Mwombe She. Mule Kutika. Kuwomba Chisuma. Mm. But let me express my even greater delight to be here to officiate at this important occasion, launching the development of the Ndola Lusaka Dual Carriage Road. Sometimes when we end minister, we look at dual carriage, some people say, ah, principal, dual carriage. 
a dual carriage road where you can see the vehicles going to Lusaka or onward and to Coverbelt or onward are on the same road. But once this project is done, is completed, the vehicles going to Lusaka will be on their own on one side. And the vehicles going to the Copper Belt and elsewhere will also be on their own. There will be no crisscrossing and therefore we are launching a safer facility today. What a wonderful day. Even if you were born to hate, today you must smile. Even if you were born to hate, even if you were born to injure, today you must find space in your heart to exude a bit of happiness. And I'm talking about a normal human being here. Maybe some are abnormal perpetually. Nishitayonse. Ukari pa. Ukari. Hmm. Matushia lolona. So today, we must celebrate this occasion. Even those who say the new dawn government, UPND, has done nothing, try and reflect on today. What was words, what was visionary words when we were in opposition and driving on this road, Kapiri was always Kagubo, a problem for me to pass. Every time my colleagues waylaid me here in Kapiri with tear gas, just here. Today, we can meet. It doesn't matter what you are dressed in. Maybe you are a green member. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But whatever you are dressed in, the rose flower, the ready rose. Mm. Let me acknowledge Chairman Mahoma, our party leadership through you. The party that brought us into office through difficulties, through violence on the opposite side. And when we offer an olive branch, it gets abused. Icona man. Icona. So thank you, Mr. Chairman Mahoma, and the structures in Central, Kapiri, everywhere, all the party structures for the great work you did, the endurance to survive 23 years of brutality and to work hard and be able to help Zambians to actualize the projects that they want, like this one. Without the party, Wabula UPND, I would not be sitting here, standing here, addressing the people. Thank you very much. Continue working hard. I told you I was working in the factory floor, parking glasses here in Kapiri. You start somewhere and you move. That's how development works. There's no other way. This is the only way it works. A country is not different. Today, two years and some months, we are standing here to launch the development of the Ndola Lusaka dual carriage road, highway, highway. This is progress. Even if someone can't see progress, maybe people have two eyes, but they don't see. Wa lolesha nomba tole mona. Kimanyando. This is important, not for the Kapiri population today. 
This is important, not for the Ndola, Kabwe, or Johnny Nangwa. Johnny Nangwa. Nditerele mbuwa bandiga matu wala terela. Nyoshi bandigi ndaya amulimo. Ndaya amunyati. Mungu watakumea. I am saying this project is not for the people of Ndola, Masangano, Wansha, Kapiri, Kawe, Chibombo, Pariapari, Johnny Nangwa. Ah. Uh -uh. Because in our language, in Lenje, Chamba Chinjwe, Mula Nganga Tuatuka, Ninagutuka. So this project is not for the Lusaka people alone. It's for all the 20 million Zambians. It is not even for Zambians only is for the 340 million citizens of Sadiq. I was in a Sadiq meeting yesterday. This is the road for the Sadiq. The goods from Durban. See those trucks? They're carrying goods from Durban. Maybe that truck has come from the port of Durban. That truck may have come from the Maputo port. May have come from Beira. That truck. That truck may have come from Wolvis Bay. This is the road for the Sadiq region. This is the road for Africa. This is the road for the world. Goods manufactured in Australia come through this road. So this is a product for everybody, for trade, for investment. I followed what Minister Tayali was saying. Minister Milubi, this is what I meant when we were campaigning that we will shift money from consumption expenditure to investment expenditure. This is it. That's what I was talking about. The difference is that if you allocate limited resources on consumption expenditure, it's gone. But when you allocate resources on consumption expenditure, it's gone, I repeat. Gone and gone. But when you allocate resources on investment expenditure, it breeds more revenues, more income. It breeds jobs. It brings a market. It breeds other businesses to come along. That's the difference. The choice is yours. What sort of leadership do you want as Zambians? You want those who borrowed money and consumed it? Or you want those who didn't even borrow on this road, who didn't even use one quarter of taxpayers' money, but we were ingenious enough through the public-private partnership and we're developing an investment like this one. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Abena Zambia. Kumangasha. Kumangasha. The choice is yours. You want a hard-working team with a clear understanding of how to segregate, how to apply resources available, even when we don't have them. Because we couldn't do this road because of the debt. But we had to find a way. The choice is yours. You want noise? You want insults? You want lubuli in the markets? You want fights in the bus stops? No. You want tear gas? No. The choice is yours. Yes. You want peace and stability? Yes. You want investment expenditure like this? Yes. You want jobs? Yes. 
You want CDF? Yes. You want free education? Yes. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Then you can make the distinction. I hear a lot of things being said. That never feel what? Two years and some months. This road was to consume two billion dollars. This road is now taking six hundred and forty five, six hundred and fifty million dollars. Call it. We have saved. Pardon not you. We have saved over one point two billion dollars. That's what we've saved. The choice is yours. Choice is yours. I, I hear things, but I don't comment. I don't respond. Because if you are holding a buffalo by the horns, you have to keep holding there. Because if you leave the buffalo, it will mow you. Development is like holding a buffalo. It's a lot of work. One Zambia. So let's do this. One Zambia, one nation. One nation, one people. One Zambia. One nation. We are one people. This country cannot be separated by noise or names people call themselves. When I, even if you want to call yourself a name, you choose that one. Ah, no. I don't understand. Maybe it's, it's good I don't understand. But let's be serious. We are one people. We must stay together. We must work and develop and take this country somewhere together. This road is important. The message has been given already. I was not long ago officiating at the completion, handover official, handover of Chingola Chirilavombe Kasumbalesa Road. Wonderful piece of work. Today we are here. Tomorrow or the other day, we will be commissioning Chadiza Chipata. We will be commissioning Katete Chanida. That's the work we have to do. That's the work we have to do. If we start listening to noise, we will get sidetracked. We will not get the job done. Media, please. When you deliver messages, since you are the carrier, that's why you're called media. You are the medium. Sometimes you should also see the information you get. That this one belongs to the dustbin and you throw it in the dustbin. This one builds. Because what we want is news that builds. It's not just news for people to laugh at. Zambians are capable of laughing like any other human race. But I want Zambians to laugh because we have succeeded, not because we are pulling each other down and noise. That media space is worth a lot of money. Use it properly. Mm. 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 In a basket, lots of papers are put in there. Paper basket. I mean filing basket. So you don't file everything. Some you shred. Isn't it? It's the same with the news. Some news just shred it. Put it under a shredder and move on. You are doing a good job. Continue. Continue. I'm talking about prime television. Continue. I'm talking about all the various media houses. Continue. You're doing a good job. ZNBC, continue. Sometimes you pick a news item, though it belongs to the shredder, you put it there to show and compare. 
with other news. But Zambians, please make your choices correctly. This road has killed a lot of people. What we are doing today, we are going to save lives. People are dying on this road. That's the news. That's the news. That when the job is done here on the dual carriage, there will be fewer accidents, as Minister Tayari said on that screen there. Fatalities are too many here. How does the government respond? A responsible government. This is how we respond. By bringing a dual carriageway. That's our response. This road has slowed down business because it's narrow. To lower the cost of doing business, this dual carriage will achieve that. Traffic will move faster. Goods arrive faster. If it's mining equipment, it will arrive on the mines in Mopani in 28 shafts quicker than before. That's a choice this government makes opposed to other things. That is the meaning. That's our understanding of leadership. Is to answer the worries of citizens. As I've said, lower the cost of doing business. This is part of the jigsaw puzzle. Chingola, Chirila, Bombika, Subaleza is part of the jigsaw puzzle. Ndola, Sakanya, Mufurila, Mokambo is part of the jigsaw puzzle. All those are solutions. Chibuluma Road, Minister of Infrastructure. Those are parts of the jigsaw puzzle. But to bring the jigsaw puzzle together, you have to have a deeper mind and deeper understanding of the interconnections in one economy. This road will make it easy to move fertilizer to the farmers in Kapiri, to the farmers in Mukush, this road, this road. This road will make it easy to move grain from the outlying areas. When I was flying here, I was telling my colleagues, why are you reading or looking at your phone? Look down, see the, those green circles you are seeing, center pivots. Admire the work going on. These things are all interconnected. This road is part of the solution to all of those things I mentioned. This road will make it possible for us to save lives when someone is terminally ill and needs to be taken to a bigger, higher, bigger hospital than what is in Kapiri, this road will allow us to evacuate a patient. Wangu, wangu. Kare wangu, yes. Wangu tacherwa. This road, can you see what this means, what we are doing today means? Can you visualize? You can extend the examples. You can extend the examples. Yes. Fellow citizens, we must stand together against all divisive stuff that is going on. We must stand together. We are on a road to good things. Me, I can see where Zambia will be in another 10 years. I picture it. I see it. And I invite all of you to see what this country will become in 10 years' time and beyond. Mr. Bai Zambia, I can visualize how many of our goods produced here will be in the supermarket shops. I can visualize myself. We have to work hard. Nothing good comes just by noise making, by being negative. One has to have a clear understanding that only work delivers positive results. So, I want to ask Zambians to join me and my government, our government, your government, 
in sharing in that vision of what Zambia, when we have worked hard, when we have worked together, when we are united, will become just 10 years down the road. 20 years from now, if we don't reverse, if we don't go to Nuna reverse, if we avoid Dununa reverse, we will be in a different place in 10, 20 years from now. So, I have articulated the course things have been given. I don't want to repeat that story. But let me announce here, Minister Milopi, now that we have debt restructured or restructuring almost in place, the frames have been agreed. Official creditors, bond holders will be signing shortly. Now that we have brought peace and stability in our country, no fights in the streets, and we will not allow anyone to take us back to street fights. No one, no one will be allowed to take us into fights in the bus stops again. No one will be allowed. Mle kutika. Mwe mubebe. That there will be no one allowed, even those who are violent in nature, they will not be allowed to bring back fights in the markets and bus stops. No one. Now that we are beginning to deal with each other decently, and now that we are delivering development across the country, all the constituencies, CDF, and now that children <coughs> are in school, two million more. Two million more students are in school because of free education. Now that we are in that situation, now that desks are moving in schools, let me give an indication. We are now going to look into where did the money which was borrowed go? Where did the money go? Where Nkongole Iqui? Where was it hidden? Because if it was put in the road like this, this road would have been fantastic. Why are the roads bad? Why are we fixing the road? Because they were never fixed, but money was borrowed to fix the roads. Where did it go? Now my hands are free to start paying attention to those things. And you will see in a few months from now, you will see that work will start seriously to find the money. amended the laws, we've amended the laws to allow for prosecution of those who took the money within five months. Now my eyes will be open in front, in the back, on the sides to find the money. Who took the money which we borrowed? Where did they hide it? Because I'm a youth. Don't you need that money back? My colleagues in cabinet, I'll be bringing a motion very soon in cabinet to say, let us find the money and bring it back wherever it is. And I'm seeking your support in advance. Then it will go to parliament, if necessary. Shavene, Shavene. What belongs to the people, belongs to the people. The honeymoon is over. We want to do more roads. Because some roads do not qualify 
because of traffic levels to be on the public-private partnership, some roads need us to spend our own money. That's why we want that money, so we can do more roads. This is, a, this is not a joke. This is serious. Uh-uh. Because we know where a good road goes, development follows. We know. We know that where a good road goes, development follows. Farming, mining, tourism, water development. If we want to water harvest for irrigation farming, we need to take equipment to go and make the dams. To do that, we need the roads to go there. So the money that was kept outside was stolen out of loans. I'm sending a message today. We want it back. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. We are going to see. Minister Melupi have already talked about this road, our partner, developer, this road. This road, we want to see local businesses getting subcontracts here, across. We want to see more small businesses getting businesses here. I don't want to repeat what has been said already. MP for Kapiri. We have a dream about Kapiri. This is, the, this is only one piece of it. In four months' time, Abe Nabaka Sensa, traditional leaders, I am saying here, in four months' time, five months' time, I will be coming here to do something else. Let me give you a hint. Kapiri, because of its location, as my colleague from the Chinese embassy said, you didn't hear him properly. You didn't hear him properly. This Kapiri is a strategic location. In a few months' time, three countries, Tanzania, Zambia and China will be signing for an overhaul of the Tazara railway line. Did you hear me? In a few months from now, there will be good news. Signing for the complete rehabilitation of the Tazara railway line. For it to be more of better operational capacity, the rail line itself, its integrity, the locomotive. You know, Zambia is going through a good story. I don't know what eyes people use to look at this country. Maybe we have different types of eyes, eh? Yes. Some will see what is yellow to be a green member. What is red rose to be a green member? Icon man. There will be a major announcement here. And not far from today, I am a guest of Kawe. There is something going on there. There is something going on there. Mshala and Sana. Nevo Muga Lole She. We know, we know. So I will reserve my message for that day. But because I'm in Kapiri, MP Kakubo, I can tell you that we'll be concluding and closing the Tazara discussions in a few months from now. It means more jobs for the people of Kapiri. It means more businesses. My fellow farmers, you have to switch your center pivots. 
to feed more people. That's your job. Everybody does their job. That's your job. I'm aware that you're having challenges. I directed that power restrictions must not affect those farmers who are irrigating. Because we need the maize. We need the food. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. We don't want to shut this economy down. But there is an opportunity for us to invest in a power station to service Mukushi Kapiri farmers. There's an opportunity. My colleagues Chinese, my fellow Zambians, there's an opportunity. If we stick, when we stick a 200 solar megawatt power station there, it will help irrigation farming there. I'm throwing a challenge now. Let's work on that. But in the meantime, we must not restrict power to those who are irrigating so that we can end hunger in our country. So, Kapiri, I told you, MP, you must have a vision of Kapiri. You are sitting in, an, in, a, in a rare gem. Kapiri is a rare gem. Years back, if Zambians want to walk this story or the road of good things, we should be thinking of a trade center here, a dry port here in Kapiri, because it's a center. <laughs> but first things first, this road, then Tazara, then rehabilitating Zambia Railways, then we're ready now for Kapiri to be what it is. She's very clever. <laughs> Madam, that's the way to develop well-organized, methodical, intentional, deliberate, sequencing, jigsaw puzzle, if you have. Let me pray that Zambians keep their eyes open. I want to pray that Zambians God gives us eyes to see and see properly. And we in leadership, I pray that God continues to give us more wisdom. We lack every capability. We No human being will have every capability. But together as a team, with God's help, with God's wisdom, this country is on the move to where it should have been 40 years ago. We are working behind time. Hard work is the way to move. There's no other way. You see these trucks? Somebody sat to plan about them, to visualize. You see them here, you just call them trucks. There's a lot of work in there. The functionality you see was visualized by somebody sitting in a room drawing. So when you are drawing, someone says, you a bomba. a bomba, I hereby privileged to officially launch the development, the construction of the Lusaka and Dollar Highway. This important project, this important project is launched officially, construction, development, groundbreaking, meaning we are officially launching the works, isn't it? That's the meaning of groundbreaking. Bambi, Bakulalanda, Fimbi, Fimbi. So the groundbreaking of the Ndola, Lusaka, dual carriage, highway, road is officially launched. Lesa Mipa Lemukwai, Tualumba Bumbi, Tualumbu Chikamba, Tuatotelamkwai. 
We must be happy to be Zambians. I want to tell you that we are lucky that God made us Zambians. Thank you very much. God bless you all.